Hello guys, welcome to an in-depth tutorial on how to make text in After Effects and how to make a moving background like in this intro right here. And yeah, let's get straight to it. So I'm going to create a new composition. Whenever you're making a background, if you're making an intro, you want to Transition or the time to be as long as the intro. Obviously, I don't have that, so I'm just gonna call it ER background. And we're gonna have this. <coughs> this is for the background. I'm gonna create a new composition for text. We're gonna do the text first. So here I have a blank thing. You wanna click go here. Uh, you could do that or do this. I'm gonna go here and hold on. Okay, guys. Okay, so we have this text. I'm going to name it um, 100 subs. And usually when you make text, you want to keep it all caps. I'm going to turn down the scale because that is way too big. And I'm going to get the drag tool here. I'm going to drag it into the middle. I'm going to go to... Imagine here, imagine, and click this, which will center it. As you can see, I'm going to change the scale a little bit bigger. That seems good. <coughs> 100 subs here. We are going to click animate right here. This is all the stuff, but we're not going to use that right now. So we're going to click here. We're going to click shapes, create shapes from text. <coughs> Yeah, we have contacts. We have to all these the text, and we are going to add a group. Now you want to go here and take all of these and add them into group one. We have all of these, and we want to add a stroke into here, and we want to make that stroke. Let's say, oh, make it white. Basically, you have that. You always want to keep this at the top so you know what your stroke will really look like we're gonna make the stroke 27 for now and i'll change the color to a little down here right now you can't see it it's not very visible visible but here is right now usually we'll do black for now because kind of a blackish here because it kind of makes it better i'm going to make it a little go up this should be good <clears throat> so now we are going to duplicate the group. Click Control D. It will duplicate the group. We're going to take the group and put it into group one like this. We're going to go into the second group and change the stroke, the next stroke, to a little darker black. And now we are going to go over group two. And we're going to add a repeater. Stroke one, we have stroke one. Now we go into group two, which is the one with the repeater. Transform it for the repeater and move the position to make this zero. Pick the scale 99.8 and make the position about two scale it you have this kind of cool looking text I'm gonna make this 57 now what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go over this we're gonna click gray we're gonna look on the effects of presets gray gray D and ramp here we're gonna add it to the top layer and we go we have this right now we can make the top a kind of light color um a kind of like red or let's do blue we can do blue make the top blue right now that looks kind of good so we have white I'm gonna kind of make it a darkish white i'll make it about blue down here now that doesn't look really good so usually 
white is kind of a good color, but um, I like to do light colors down here and then up here, light color. But I'm going to do, let's do about like right here, should be kind of good. We're gonna go about like right here and oh, cancel. Bottom's kind of cool and then the top. I'm gonna go about right to the green area. And that looks a bit better and kind of move this to here. That looks better by a little. Kind of move this to here. It's kind of hard to get the gradient color. When I did this, I kind of blue on the top, the bottom that color, and then this one right here. And then usually you want to take this one, bring it down, this one will make the thingy kind of like gradient enough. Kind of want to move it down enough here. <coughs> that looks pretty good for now. So now I'm going to highlight these two and click Right click these two and click pre-compose. I'm going to look up warp. Now it doesn't mean you have to add colors. Sometimes you want to keep it kind of just white. Which is okay. I'm going to take this warp. I'm going to add it to here. And right now we're going to put the pen at zero. Go here and click shell lower. Now I'm going to kind of mess with this a little. That kind of looks kind of weird. I'm gonna render in full so you can see what it actually looks like in full. Kinda don't like that. If you don't like that, that's okay. Um you can kind of move it down a little. That looks pretty good though. <coughs> As it being what it is. You can kind of make it like kind of looking like it's coming out, you know, a little bit. Like that looks pretty good. In my opinion, so if you want to copy my settings, I put the vertical duration to 5 and the bend to negative 17. And I left this at 0. So that looks like pretty good text to me. Um, so I'm going to save that. <laughs> so here, we're going to click new comes. We're going to go back to, sorry, we're going to go to back to our BR thing right here. Now I'm going to click gonna take this so I'm for now gonna do uh, circles we can do so there's so many choices I'm gonna do polygon I don't know uh, I guess I could do a circle for now I'm gonna make the stroke white as always change the fill to none I'm gonna kind of mess with this just kind of you know take this kind of you know make it like to where it's pretty good. That looks pretty good. <coughs> Put this here and for this the background click here and add a repeater. It should work. I'm gonna go to transformer. We are going to take go to here. Kind of this will make it bend like this. You don't want to do that. You want to go this way and kind of like see the separation you want. I kind of want like this seems good for me gonna do like a bunch of copies and now I'm going to go to here again and add another repeater <coughs> I'm gonna go to here go down and just kind of scroll down this is how I make my backgrounds so this will mess with the skill because of all the skill you never just we never want to mess with the skill on these once you're done you're done I'm gonna take this and bring it down kind of here and I want to kind of make them aligned with each other it looks good so I'm gonna go to copies and pull this down and now I'm gonna take this and kind of move it over a little and here you have this I'm gonna make the out capacity a little lower about like that seems good 60 is pretty good and now I'm going to go to transformer again here you want to click position at this and here you want to move the position this way like a bunch of times until you get it 
Okay, now if we go back, you have this. It looks pretty good. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what does this look like in a moving background, please? I need to know. So I'm going to go to Aaron's intro and add this into Aaron's intro so you guys can kind of, you know, see what this looks like. I'm gonna, since this is a black background, this won't really work really well. That, that's what it would look like with that. Kind of weird, if in my opinion, I would keep it like here. Cause so I would kind of make the opacity lower now that you see it. Let's make it about like right there. It seems pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna delete that now. So that concludes our tutorial on how to make an intro. So now it's how to make like that radio um, <coughs> burst like circle thingy that actually it wasn't made. I haven't used it ever because you need this effect. I have no idea. It's like a plugin basically that is from a pack. I think it's called like math in X Matthew. I don't know. I I can put his link into his description for that, but that's like a pack only for AE designers. <laughs> but basically, this concludes the tutorial on how to make a 2D intro or text and a background, moving background in After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Appreciated, guys, and see you guys later. Goodbye. Yeah.